Should voters consider marital fidelity when making their choices for president? And, and Governor Perry, in South Carolina this week, you said this is an important issue. Why? Well, I, I said that um, not only did I make a vow to my wife, but I made a vow to God. And uh, that's pretty heavy lifting in my book. Uh, when I make a vow to God, uh, then uh, I would suggest to you that's uh, even stronger than a handshake in Texas. <laughs> relevance to the presidential race. So let me just follow up quickly. Do you think a candidate who breaks his marital vows is more likely to break faith with voters? Well, you know, I, I think the voters are wise enough to figure that one out. I've always kind of been of the opinion that uh, uh, if you cheat on your wife, you'll cheat on your business partner. So uh, I think that uh, issue of fidelity is important. I mean, it's, it, it's a characteristic of which people look at uh, individuals, whether it's in their business lives or whether it's in their personal lives or whether it's picking someone that to serve uh, in public office for them. Individuals who have been uh, fidelit in, in fidelity with, with their spouse, uh, I think that sends a very powerful message. If you will cheat on your wife, if you will cheat on your spouse, then why wouldn't you cheat on your business partner? Or why wouldn't you cheat on anybody for that matter?